I'm Steve Duncan. I'm an urban explorer and an urban historian. That means I run around the unseen layers of a city and expose parts that most people don't see. With Fallout 4 being released, I wanted to get under the skin of the Massachusetts we've forgotten about, find these places lost in time that tell their own story, and that might have inspired the setting of the game. After the Civil War, this town became one of the, the real centers of American industry. The population of workers was exploding, and so they had to, to take water from the Watupa Lake and uh, send it into town. The nice thing about a water pumping plant is that all the exciting stuff happens underground. Perfect. Places like this are just perfectly preserved. Time capsules. This is what I was hoping to find. One of the original steam pumps from 1874. This is one of the newest electric motors that would have been installed somewhere around World War II. Made in USA, back when we actually made stuff around here. Wow, that's incredible. I've never seen a steam engine this size actually in the States. first set up two massive steam pumps. In the 20th century, those were supplanted with diesel pumps, then eventually with electric pumps, right here in this, this massive 19th century building. I love this stuff. to the Strathmore paper mill. Well, when I go into a place like this where I have it essentially to myself, the risks I take are my own. Beautiful, huge space. Let's see if we can go downstairs and find out what this looks like underneath. What I love doing in a place like this is piecing it together, figuring out the whole story from the bits that are left. I love these boilers. We'll have to admire it right there. Still works pretty well, too. <laughs> well, maybe not perfect. We're well below the level of the canal at this point. And a little bit of it's leaking in. You can see the drill marks where they drill down to plant the dynamite to blast out this space. There's a lot of stories here. And the last story is us exploring it till the next story comes along. I think part of the reason the Fallout series has been so popular is the same reason that I love exploring the urban environment. I enjoy places where I can see how history has been written on the landscape. I do think exploring places like the, the pumping station or the Strathmore Mill is like engaging in a dialogue with the past. Learning from books is great, but it's boring.